Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So this reading is for the last ten days of the uh, last ten days of May, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. In this reading, Gemini will see what is coming your way, and you are unaware about it. So there will be mixed messages, messages about love, career, any other general messages. Okay. I'm going to pull out uh, eight cards in total, right? Also, remember there is an extended reading for this one. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. We'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, and what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay, so let's get started now, Gemini. So, Gemini, what is coming your way and you are absolutely unaware about it? What is coming your way and you are absolutely unaware about it? We have Six of Swords. Then we have Temperance. We have Queen of Swords. And we have Justice. Okay. Let me pull out clarifiers for each single card. So, I'm going to pull out additional four cards. Okay. Let me pull out the clarifiers. So three of wands, six of swords is clarified by three of wands. Temperance is clarified by tower. Then we have queen of swords is clarified by two of pentacles. And justice is clarified by two of wands. You may be seeing a lot of two to two, okay, Gemini. You may be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. Let me show you your spread. <clears throat> Six of Swords, Temperance, Queen of Swords and Justice. This is your spread. Okay. Hmm. So, Gemini. Six of Swords clarified by Three of Wands. You have made up your mind regarding something, Gemini. Okay. You have made up your mind regarding... Most likely, Six of Swords denotes uh, moving away from something. Okay. Or it can also uh, denote a journey, a travel, a relocation you distancing yourself from something or someone or you getting out of a certain situation so take how it res uh, resonates and the six of swords energy is sort of going on in your mind since a real long time okay and uh, you were contemplating moving away quitting or distancing yourself or probably just simple relocation or a travel or a journey you are planning about it since a real long time Okay, and what I see is finally, uh, but maybe in the past it was not happening. There was some delay and uh, you experienced certain hurdles or obstacles. But now finally, it's like, come what may, I'm going to do it. And all of, all of a sudden, one day you're going to decide like, okay, that's it. I'm going to move away. I'm, I'm going to find another home or I'll get relocate to so-and-so country or city or state. Or I'm going to distance or I'm enough is enough. I'm done and I'm moving away from these people or, or this job. I'm leaving this job. So one fine day, it's like all of a sudden you're going to get up and you're like, that's it. I'm done and I'm I'm taking up this action now. I'm taking this action. It's been long. I'm thinking about it. And every single day I was dealing that I was like procrastinating, taking actions. And today I am like, I'm all in. I'm like, that's it. I'm done with that. And I'm taking the much needed action. Okay. So you're going to have this all fine day. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's like one fine day. You're just going to get up and you're, you're taking that action. Okay. So that is what you don't see coming your way. Like you, you, you have been procrastinating this decision making since a real long time, Gemini. Okay. Maybe for some of you, you also want to sell off a business or you want to sell off a home. You want to sell off an asset. Okay. Uh, you're contemplating doing that since a real long time. Okay. 
and you were dealing taking decision around that and finally you are taking it so temperance and the tower Gemini you have no idea but the much needed balance is getting restored in your life okay you have no idea that this balance is getting restored and it is clarified by tower card so it's like for so long you have seen so many ups and downs in your life okay you have majorly the kind of uh, downs that you have experienced in your life the the situations or incidences which pulled you down or which sort of uh you have experienced all the negativity in this world okay you have experienced all sorts of negativity you have also reached the rock bottom phase where you almost lost everything or you lost almost everything okay and you have pulled yourself out of such kind of a situation uh, not once but many times okay and you you got so because of the frequency of such kind of tower moments you got so used to to dealing with such kind of situations you felt like this is going to be a lifelong situation and this is what i'll have to deal with lifelong and you sort of rather than fretting about it you sort of uh, thought that okay whenever it will happen whenever i'll face this tower moment i'm going to face it and i know that i'll overcome that okay but to your surprise the balance is getting restored the tower moments are ending okay the your real, your rock bottom phase that you have experienced in your life so far that phase is going away it is finally going away and you won't believe that it is going away because you you were so accustomed to facing such such tower moments you were so accustomed to facing such dark periods in your life that that the balance is coming your way will the balance is getting restored in your life peace and harmony is getting restored in your life happiness is getting restored in your life okay if you were facing financial issues those issues are going to go away finances is getting restored in your life stability is getting restored in your life and that is going to be a big surprise you don't see that coming okay <clears throat> for some of you for some of you gemini a relationship that broke down <clears throat> a relationship that broke down and you thought that there is no way that this will get resurrected okay there is no possibility at all that this this relationship this connection might get resurrected for some of you this relationship is getting resurrected okay it may be a romantic relationship it may be a friendship that ended it may be um it may be any other relationship okay relationship with your siblings or maybe with family members most likely i'm getting an energy of a romantic situation for some of you uh, a situation that ended it is getting resurrected okay balance is getting restored in that situation and that is going to be a surprise like someone may come towards you with a sorry and you'll be like wait what you you are back and that to your back with a sorry you'll be like i don't believe my ears and i don't believe my eyes that you are back and i'm hearing a sorry from you <laughs> okay uh queen of swords clarified by two of pentacles ha huh. this is fun right this is to the point and also i like this pulling out four cards and clarifying one card this is this is nice So queen of swords clarified by two of pentacles. Hmm. You know what, Gemini? So far you 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 have portrayed to the world that you are a very strong personality and you are a, you are a king or a, you you are a queen and you you have always had that uh a conduct of a, ki a king or a queen a, r a very royal conduct and you portrayed a very strong personality to the rest of the world and you're always like i'm never going to break down and no one and nothing can break down in fact when even you were at your worst you were always trying to help out other people okay so you you have always projected a very strong persona to the rest of the world okay but then look at this 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 queen of swords is hiding this cup behind beneath her throne 
okay so of course you have emotions you have emotions but you you have never shown your emotions publicly okay you have always had internal struggles showing your emotions publicly but what i see is like now you will become more and more comfortable showing your emotions uh whenever it is warranted to show your emotions okay you won't be always projecting this very strong persona to the world like oh i cannot break down oh i will never and ever cry or something like that no if if you feel like you should be crying you will be okay in crying in front of in front of 100 people okay so this is going to this is what i see like you you have you are you are learning to accept your emotions you are learning to accept who you are you are learning to accept that it's okay to experience weakness it's okay to experience uh low feelings it's okay to experience uh i mean look no one will be always on all time high okay the graph will go up and down up and down up and down you will face phases where uh, you know you you will experience down uh, you will experience the dark period or you will experience the lows and who better than you can understand you have you are the one who has experienced tower moments multiple times okay so that's what i see you are going to that's what uh, you will learn to accept your emotions you will learn to accept your feelings you are getting in touch with your feelings and your emotions okay and you are not necessarily projecting a very strong persona to the rest of the world you will become comfortable in expressing your emotions publicly or wherever it is required so that is something a change is happening internally that you are not noticing but you will experience that uh, in certain situations and you are going to surprise yourself like wow i'm changing and you are happy with who you are becoming okay so just is clarified by we have two of wands you may be seeing lot of 11 11 right so because see we have justice is number 11 card i don't know if you are able to see we have your 11 and number 2 is actually 2 but if written in roman we 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 see it as 11 right so you may be seeing lot of 11 11 right justice clarified by two of wands Hmm. Again, it's more or less the same message, probably, Gemini. It's like it's your okay, uh, okay, being yourself. It is okay to accept yourself in front of the world. Okay, rather than projecting an image, you are you are becoming more and more comfortable with who you are. For some of you, I believe that. you are taking up certain very critical projects in your life and you have taken that as a challenge that yes i'm going to complete these projects maybe many people have failed at that project but you want to show to the world that yes i am competent i'm capable and i am able and i will fuckingly complete that project successfully okay so and you will complete those projects successfully that is going to be a uh, that is going to that is something that you won't see happening okay you are you will surprise yourself like maybe you know what when i say challenging projects what do i mean is say for example your qualification belongs to a certain field but the project that you are undertaking is is totally uh it it belongs to a totally different field there is no correlation between your previous experience or there is no correlation between the project that you will be doing and and the qualification that you have okay so that's why i see it is a it is a challenging project and uh, however you will complete that project quite successfully and in a much better manner so that is something that you don't see coming for some of you you're going to switch your careers that is also something you don't see coming gemini okay 
All right, I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you and what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Okay, bye-bye then.